Hey everyone, welcome to this video and the next video where we're going to be finishing up our basic discussion on operators. Just get a little bit more experience before we switch gears and talk about something new. So stay with it because we're going to be finishing up this section soon. So this video, we're going to be talking about a new operator that we can use in our code. Do you need help advancing your coding skills? Check out my new program, Code Breakthrough. Code Breakthrough offers hands-on learning with Python and data structures, algorithms, and interview challenges. With a supportive community and regular new content, Code Breakthrough will help you get hired or advance your career. For a limited time launch special, use the link in the description to get 20% off your subscription. See you there. So first, let's talk about when we take a number such as 10 divided by three, and we'll just assign this to some variable, we'll just call it result, and we'll print that result. Sorry, apparently I am unable to type today. Okay, run this and we get 3.3 .3 repeating. All right, awesome. This works, and I even taught you how we could lower this or basically bring it to the floor. So instead of 3.3, .3, it would be just three. So how do we do that again? Let's see if you remember. Okay, I'll show you. Import math, and then you would just say math.floor. And you can do this pretty much one of two ways. You could do it directly inside, uh, right before the result inside of the print, or you could create a new variable. When you're first learning, maybe the variables are a bit more clear, and then once you're more familiar, you can just do it directly. And I'll show you both ways so you can see that there's just options here. So what we could do is we could say, uh, new result, and then assign it the value math.floor, and pass in result. So what's going on, it's going to take this variable result, floor it, and then assign it to this new variable, which we could then print. So that's one way we could do it. And you can see we get the value three. Another way we could do it is we could just do it all within the print statement. So we'll just take this here, cut that using command X or control X and pasting it right there. And then we can just get rid of that variable. So now we're not storing it in a variable, but we're not going to be reusing that value. So printing it directly is fine. So the way this is going to be invoked is first, the math.floor is going to do its calculation on this variable. And then that value is going to be passed into the print function. So that's how that nesting works here. It's always innermost parentheses to outermost parentheses. So this is inner and then this one here. All right, but that's not really the purpose of this video. That was just kind of just to show you some options. The thing I wanted to show you is that instead of using math.floor, we can actually use a new operator and I'll show you it. First, we'll just print result. So right now we're getting 3.3 .3 repeating and you can do the lower division by putting a second division symbol and running it like so. And now we just get three. Now, I don't believe there is a way to do the ceiling version with the division. So if you need to do that, just use the math module using math.seal. So in that case situation, it would be like so, math.seal, and passing that value in to get four. So that's just another operator. It's very useful if you know you're going to need the floor version of the division. So let's go back to that. So we'll get rid of this math.seal here and just print result. And another way to think about this is that it's just going to return an integer. And an integer is a whole number, positive or negative or zero, and no decimal value. And the reason this operator exists is because in other programming languages, not to get too off topic here, but if you did 10 divided by three, it doesn't automatically convert it to 3.3. .3. It would just do an integer division and give us three. So because Python automatically will create the decimal version, it gave us another operator to go back to just integer division, which is using two division symbols like so. So to conclude, let me just make some comments. One division, this is going to be known as float division. If we use two division, this is known as integer division, and you can also just think of it as getting math.floor. 
So that's just a little bit more practice working with operators. Be sure to check out the next video and be sure to subscribe.